Hi guys and welcome in my next home lab video. And in this video I will show you how to install Media Server Suite, which is composed from Plex, Radar, Sonar, Overseer, Qubit Torrent and File Browser. Plex is your movie streaming service, Overseer is your movie request service. Radar is used to download movies and uh, manage movies automatically for you. Sonar is used to download TV shows and manage TV shows automatically for you. Qubit Torrent doesn't need an introduction. And File Browser is a uh, application which allows you to browse your files in a browser window. Let's go. First thing first, we will log in using the root user and I know that most of the people will tell you that don't use root user because it's not safe to use root user, but let's be serious. You are in your home environment, the access from the internet is blocked, you don't let's say don't have any sensitive data that hackers will try to steal from you you just have a media servers that are you are using to store movies maybe some pictures anyway let's just log in using the root user if this is a fresh install you'll have to do sudo su sudo psswd root and change the password. I will use Ubuntu just for the simplicity. After that sudo su minus root and we have logged in using the root user. So normally SSH will not allow you to log into the server using the root user but we are going to change that. So we'll go to nano etsy ssh sshd config and I will go to this section and remove the hashtag from the beginning and here was prohibited password and I removed that and typed yes. So you do the same and will be all right. Okay, so now before doing anything else, let's install Docker. And I will go online, search for install token engine on Ubuntu. Do some copy paste and basically that's it what I need to do. This is the first copy paste. Let's add the second copy paste. Wait till it downloads and install all the necessary requirements and you're good to go. So let's test if Docker is installed by issuing Docker PS. And yes, indeed it is installed. And now we can go ahead and uh, you can check my uh, github and in my github you just check my repositories and you will find something which is called uh, media server so what we need to do is just to copy this and we want to go to the optional folder keep please keep in mind that these scripts are created so that all the installation should be done specifically in the optional um, folder. If you want to change that, just modify all of the scripts and uh, it should work. So I will use git clone. First, we'll make sure that the git is installed. Git install. Actually, it's apt install git and I have the newest version, which is good. 
So I can use git clone and the address of the repository. As you can see, it would automatically copy everything which is media server related. So we'll go in that folder and we'll have to run the config.sh script follow the deploy media server.sh script. In order to run the config.sh script, I have to make it executable. So I will use chmod plus x config.sh and after that I will run the script. Okay, now this script will create automatically the folders. It will also deploy the Plex version that you need, meaning that you can have uh, two Plex uh, Docker files, one for uh, AMD and uh, Intel GPUs and other one for uh, NVIDIA. And basically, if we follow uh, what this uh, script asks us, we will be able to successfully deploy what version we need. So follow me. So basically it will first ask us to enter the media folder path. So basically it will it asks us where we want to store all of our data. And me for example I want to store it in uh, root and in plex. Also will ask us to uh, get the plex claim token. So I will go here and I will generate a new Plex claim token and I will add it here. I am using Intel AMD uh, GPU, so I will select one. And for the file browser, I wanted my username to be admin and the password also admin, at least at the beginning. As you can see, the um, script run successfully so let's go to the root folder and check what it created so it created a new folder plex with tv shows and the movies and inside the tv shows and movies you'll see downloads and movies i will explain why do you need uh, this uh, file and folder layout in the next video where I will explain how to configure Qubit Torrent, Radar, Sonar, Polar, Overseer and basically how the automation works. How every component is interacting with each other to automatically download movies for you. Now we can go back to the OPT folder, to the media server folder and chmod plus x deploy media server.sh. First, I will make this uh, file executable and after that I will just run it. So as you can see, it will pull the containers and uh, it will just start them. So while we are waiting, thank you for watching this video. And I have a dream of getting 10,000 subscribers till the end of the year. And if you guys enjoy my videos, if you want to support the channel and if you want to support me, just subscribe and uh, you have my thanks. So now let's check if everything is being downloaded and if all of the containers are being set up. So we have Fire Browser, Overseer, Sonar, Radar, Qubit and Plex. So basically we have everything. So what we'll do is we'll check if we can access our servers. So let's check what IP I have added on my server and it's 
189. So check the Plex Media server. It works. Check Qubit Torrent. It works. Also check file browser and it works. Also let's check Overseer and it works. Let's check Radar and it works. And let's uh, see what is the port for uh, Sonar. And it is 8989. So 8989. 192.168.0.189 and the port is 8989. And this one also is working perfectly fine. So basically, this is how you install them without too much hassle in an easy way. Just run a few scripts and that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, in the next video, I will show you how to configure everything and how everything is uh, communicating with each other and how, how everything works together in perfect harmony. Thank you. I will see you in the next one.